If you have seen our videos on making the rudder, that particular project was not happening on its own. We had a lot going on. So what I wanted to do is just introduce this one. There is the rudder in this video on the aft cockpit, halfway finished. So this is a bit of a, an insight into what we were up to while we were making the rudder. Chain plate. You don't want to use blinters. Hey. Ah, that's cool. So only doing 10 layers today because the exotherm will just be too much. Yeah. So you've already wet these out? Yep. Add a whole 300ml wide piece and cut it into 25ml strips. The only way you can work with it is to fan it out and keep the fibres straight and continuous. And in terms of sort of fanning it out once you put it on, how do you know where to put it? You just know where you want the loads to go? So I have a plus and minus five degree splay on this, which is sort of the minimum I look to try and do with this style of chain plate. This allows for some off axis loading of the chain plate. We've got how many projects going on at the moment? <laughs> a lot. Quite a few. So we, we possibly may have bitten off a bit more than we can chew. Shane's got a job offer in Spain and so we're going to go back to Europe. We're currently in the Caribbean in St. Martin and we've got um, how many days now? Oh, six days <laughs> in order to finish all our projects and get Pikea ready to cross back across the Atlantic. Um, and we are currently, so we need the chain plate because our starboard chain plate's pulling out now. We've done already done the port side. So we've got to do, this is the bulkhead, the replacement bulkhead because the bulkhead's rotten again on this side, same as the other one. And then this is the new carbon chain plate that we're just putting straight onto that. And then we sort of will laminate the whole new section into the bulkhead. Um, in addition, we've had to seal all the windows because the windows were falling out. <laughs> so it's not good if you have windows falling out. And then underneath all this mess here is um, instructions for a chain plate there. But under all of this mess here is our rudder. This is part of our interior furniture from downstairs where we've pulled apart to get to the bulkhead. This is the trim for the window, the hatch, which has now come out. We don't think we'll put it back in. This is more of our furniture. I think we got 73 kilos out of the boat yesterday, just of timber furniture that was inside around the bulkhead there. So we don't want to- Miners. Oh, no, there was cupboards as well. Oh, there was some cupboards as well. Um, but we don't want to put that back in. So we're going to come up with a different plan on how we're going to finish off the interior, but definitely not liners. We have a brand new head saw. So our head saw, head saw fell apart. And so we've got a new, had to buy a new head saw, which I don't know, will be interesting to see how that goes. So this is what we've pulled apart down here. We've taken the cover off, or the cover off the centerboard case. And this is 
second chain plate and you can sort of see up here hopefully where the bolts are pulling through so we definitely definitely need to fix it because we can't go sailing with it like that especially considering it's all going to be starboard tack the whole way Chain plate's finished, correct? Yeah. More or less. More or less. So, just spent two days laminating that to this piece, which is the new bulkhead piece, because like the previous side, the bulkhead is rotten and the chain plate's moving. So we're going to just swap it out, basically, aren't we? New yeah. carbon one. And then this bit of plywood here is just you. And that's your template from downstairs basically so that you know it's gonna that the shape you've got here is gonna fit into the space that you've got downstairs am I correct yeah is that my understanding is that right yeah so just to make sure that the left hand side of the boat was the same as the right hand side of the boat oh, okay so this is a template off the port side well uh, that bulkhead I cut them both out at the same time the foam for oh yes that's right both yes. pieces uh -huh. with the assumption that both sides would be the same and thankfully the boat at this point is actually symmetric uh, port and starboard which is always nice to find out isn't it it's not yeah. always the case which is a lot of <laughs> a lot of the time it's not even remotely close so yeah. um, I am a little quite surprised actually that it's that symmetric so yeah good on you What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Hey, listen to me. If one day you see a boy in a race named Lucian Altiz, my son, you never beat him, okay? All right, good. What is this? Kidding. <laughs> Man, I gotta smoke him. Okay. <laughs> I gotta smoke him. Okay. Anyway, we're taking out the bulkhead down here. Harry's taking out the bulkhead. Starboard bulkhead now. Oh, a little bit more to go. Yeah. Meanwhile, up here, Dad's working on the actual chain plate. section of the stainless steel tube out because this is what I I kept in to keep the pin alignment through the two 
chain plate strappings. So now I need to remove it. Hopefully it's all straight. Well, it can't not be straight. Unless it's a bent tube. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a bent tube when I glued it in. That's good. Then out here, Aiden and I have taken out, well, I've taken off the side stay here. Hey Ollie, I'll pull the tap and you it. Uh huh. And that's the chain plates right there. I've got all the halyards on here, holding up the rig. That's just all floppy. Remove the plate. This one definitely doesn't slid as much, but... No, not nearly as much. Brown. It's pretty brown. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Not nearly really as much. And that's straight through to the other side. Alright, just moving the top bolt. Is there any more load on it, Ollie? No, there's no stays attached to it. Cool. Alrighty. Let's reach up. Hold this side and okay. Almost there. Yeah. Don't let it come off. Yeah. Alright, we'll the washer, back to the pile, cool. so just need to take out these bolts and then you should be able to pull it straight through the deck. Alright, let's try and this one. Almost out. Almost there. Almost there. There. Put the threaded bolts. Next one up. Next one. These ones are newer because we put them in. We got threads. A little bit more. And then we have one last one. And here comes back mum. <coughs> mum the bright orange dinghy. What about me? Mm-hmm. That, that's the bit that got chopped out. Nice. So now you can see there's two independent chain plate strappings. Actually, if you have a look on the side, you can see quite clearly the thickness of the carbon chain plate. That's thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially. How many layers did you put on? Lots. Do you have a specific number? I do, but I'm not telling you guys. <laughs> That's not very useful, is it? <laughs> So that's a bit thicker than the other one, is it? No, yeah, same as the other one. Okay. Well, let's pull out the chain plate now because all the bolts are out. <coughs> oh, it's just uh, let's check how thick that is. What's that like? Hey, ten mil? More than that. That's ten mil right there. Right. Yeah, but you got to allow for the chain there as well. It's thick. Very big. Ready? Yeah. Okay, gonna pull out the chain plate. Oh. Well, it comes. Yeah! I got a chain plate! That was nowhere near as difficult as the other one. That. It's a heavy chain plate. And yeah, now we just um, got to put out the little plate there, and then we'll take out the old bulkhead, put in the new one. Yep, that's about it. The bulkhead removal has started.
starboard chain plate is now in place and Shane is putting some edge capping around the bulkhead and we were just talking Shane about why we would do it and why it's important especially on this side which seeds all the load and it sort of ties the two skins together doesn't it Shane? Yes that's its primary job. So it's not just about making a nice finished edge it's bonding those two sides of the it's glass. Structural continuity from one side to the other because if we get a big wave that pushes on this and this wants to bend and buckle out the skins want to blow off the core so this ties it all together so that it can't do that it this actually isn't isn't edge cap originally none of it was none of it's edge capped not properly we are strengthening up this bulkhead now by putting an edge capping on it a proper edge capping and I think where Shane said it wasn't proper, that just it wasn't very well laminated. There was a little bit of something, but it there wasn't was some, very well done. Yeah, some chop strand mat, you can still see it down here, that covers it, but it doesn't actually tie this skin to this skin. It just sits on the edge. So it actually has no structural um, purpose other than just making the, the foam can't dent. But it doesn't actually structurally tie um, the two skins together. Yeah, well, chop strand is never going to structurally tie anything together, is it? Yeah. Really? It's, yeah, if it's wrapped around. It but then will. it's discontinuous fibre, isn't it? Yeah, but there's enough continuous fibre. But by doing it with a double bias, it's, you know, ten times stronger. Okay. Um, we had a comment the other day about using Kevlar for chain plates. What's your thoughts on that? Why? Much better materials for it. But it's possible, right? Absolutely. We could have made these chain plates out of e-glass. No problems. Yeah, but doing them in carbon, there's a massive advantage, uh, obviously, with weight. There is a small advantage doing them in glass. Um, doing them in Kevlar can be done, but it's a major, major pain in the bum because Kevlar is a terrible material to work with. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stress enough how difficult it is to actually work with it properly. To actually get proper fiber impregnation is so hard. Even when you infuse it, you still don't get full bundle impregnation and hand laminating it got no hope. You're just cutting it's hard enough. Oh, just cutting the dry fibers hard. Sanding it. Anything sanding associated horrendous. with Kevlar is a pain. Yeah. 